you also tell us what is chromatic dispersion? Yeah, chromatic dispersion is at its basic level, it's just a change in the speed of light with wavelengths. So different colors travel at different speeds. Why is that important? Uh, a transmitter will have a finite spectral width for its um, laser, and each sort of element of wavelength in that spectral width will travel at a different speed. So if they travel at different speeds and you're sending one pulse, you may end up with a very broad pulse at the end of the fiber if you've got a lot of chromatic dispersion, or you'll end up with no pulse at all if the fiber is really long. So chromatic dispersion is, can be considered to be uh, contributing to attenuation, but it's also contributing to a, a reduction in the bandwidth of the fiber. Luckily, chromatic dispersion can be compensated. So if you have a thousand picoseconds of positive dispersion, you can connect a thousand picoseconds of negative dispersion and you have zero dispersion at the end. So again, nothing to worry about. It's frozen at the time of manufacture. Does change a little bit with temperature, but once you've installed it in the ground and you've applied the compensation, it's fixed there, Okay, the life of the cable.